Hi Libra, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. There's some situation here, Libra, that you are losing hope in. I'm not sure. This is a general reading. It can be in regards to your love life, but it can be finances, something that you had high hopes for. It didn't quite pan out the way you had um, expected and things are turning around here. Um, if not, you know, that you're getting what you were wanting, it can be having a different perspective on things, right? It's almost realizing why something wasn't meant to be. So it can be that, you know, one situation, one door closes, but another one opens, which proves to be a better. Well, this may be someone that was inconsistent with their communication in the past, um, they can have a hard time multitasking. They scatter their energy. Can be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But yeah, this person did seem to have a lot going on. Um, responsibilities where they weren't able to give you their undivided attention. So I do see blockages in communication. But this person seems to be a bit frustrated. They don't feel as inspired and this is their general energy so yeah they may feel a bit bored stifled stuck they if there was listen to your intuition you know yourself your situation better i'm getting some neediness for how this person was viewing you um, if that is the case, that is something we're needing to work on, any codependency. But others of you, yeah, there can be some difficulties in terms of your finances, your work situation. And this person feels that um, you're manifesting uh, more money, a job, something. But you're very much focused on yourself. Why is this person viewing Libra as the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, you're all, there's no communication here. You're not initiating you seem to be preoccupied as how this person is seeing you because you feel there will be no growth um, in this situation. So you're sort of directing your energy where it needs to be, and that is on yourself. Why is the Empress here in reverse? Yeah, you feel the situation isn't growing past what you've already established. You feel it's a waste of time. Well, I'm not sure if that is how you feel. This person is perceiving you this way, that you're not bothered and you feel that this person is a waste of time is how they're seeing you and you have money you have business on your mind i'm seeing some wish fulfillment for a lot of you i feel it's in regards to money i'm curious Can you please clarify this Nine of Cups? What was I telling you? This is your work, some passion project. Some of you, this is your body. Um, you've been working out, eating healthy, and you're seeing results, and you're very happy. But something you've been putting a lot, a lot of your drive, your passion in, is paying off. And Sixth House rules our day-to-day. -day. It represents our workplace. It can talk about our health, right? mental emotional physical a lot of you you're, yeah you're physical as well but you know you're moving your body you're exercising you're feeling good about yourself it's very nice and there is some good news when it comes to work health it's beautiful very, very jealous individual at one point i think they may have had some sort of hold control over you and they feel they're losing that grip you're slipping away and they feel some sort of way. Do you see the frustration here? They're wanting to scream. This person wasn't acting right. Leo energy back to back. They were a player and they were inconsistent not to be trusted. Why is strength here for how this person will be feeling? Two of swords in reverse. Some of you, yeah, you've blocked this person and they're angry at you. But they're also trying to restrain themselves. Restrain their anger, their frustration. Why is King of Wands in reverse here? Some of you, this person was already committed. 
with the family, children. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. I need more clarity, King of Wands in reverse, judgment in reverse. Yeah, no second chances here. There's stubbornness coming through, especially in this person's energy, but you are also minding your own business. I don't necessarily see you as, we'll see in your feelings, but I don't get stubbornness so much in your energy, Libra. It's more just, I just want a break. I want peace of mind, right? You're heading in the direction of peace, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, what does this cat commit to you? Because they're already in a commitment. They have established. Let me... Hmm. Emperor for actions. They're saying, Libra, what... They're trying to do what's best for everyone involved. They're trying to be mature. That is what they're saying. So I don't see reconciliation. I don't see action. Especially if this person's... Something they're concerned about. Um, if this is a workplace romance, they may be concerned about losing their job. Right? They put a lot of time and energy into whatever this is that they're concerned about, and it can be a family situation. It's either work or it's family. Clarify Emperor for what action this person will take. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're coming through as emotionally unavailable. I don't Queen of Wands. Look at who's getting their confidence back. Yeah, you have bad memories um, with this person. They didn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated, but you are recuperating, you're healing. See, sixth house is also Virgo energy, it's self-worth. So yes, you definitely are realizing your worth. You're feeling very good. Some of you, it can be you're taking better care of your skin, your hair, makeup's on point. You're smelling good, you're looking good, you're getting a lot of attention, I'm assuming. You're vibrating very high. Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands. Some of you are entrepreneurs. Yeah, I was mentioning something about a passion project. Yeah, you seem to be getting a lot of clients, recognition, people wanting to collaborate with you. Your energy is very uh, addicting, is what I'm seeing. So people are naturally f feeling gravitated towards your beauty, your warmth. But most of all, I see you feeling very content within yourself you're happy with who you are you wouldn't change a thing you've accepted the situation for what it is it's beautiful why is six of cups in reverse for how libra will be feeling yeah because this person was either juggling you their work life you and another person they were playing the field there was something this person do was doing that had you feeling a bit unsettled They didn't, yeah, this person caused you a lot of anxiety, stress here in the past, and you're coming out of that. Why is Queen of, I don't really need clarity on that, but yeah. Ever since you stopped participating in this person's game, toxic ways, whatever they were doing, you're feeling better about yourself. You've left the playground. Is what I'm seeing. And that is bringing in a lot of blessings, happiness, joy. I love this reading. I think it's my favorite. What is the potential outcome between Libra and this person? On their mind. Not ready. Okay, that one. Yeah, I don't see a new beginning here. I see you releasing this. And let's clarify. Clarify Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, some of you distance was an issue. I don't see forward movement if that was the case. But yeah, do you see how she's painting the cup? There's some fast movement communication coming in when it comes to, I keep hearing passion project, a creative endeavor, something that you've been working on painting or decorating your home. I'm not sure, but there's Someone that's been admiring you, they want to appreciate your work, they want to buy your work, something is coming through, positive news. Maybe we'll get more with the oracle cards. But what it is telling me is that there's fast communication news coming in. 
and it's positive news. What advice do you have for Libra when it comes to this person on their mind? Yeah, they're saying hold back, listen to your intuition, and don't give all your secrets away. Don't reveal too much, um, especially if you're getting to know new people. Make them work for you, your trust. High Priestess Devil, yeah, especially if this was a third party, there's some red flags here, so don't ignore them, is what your guides are advising you. Strong red flags, pay attention. Those nudges, they're there for a reason. What is this person on Libra's mind intention? If you are actively dating here, there's two energies coming through. Um, a past toxic situation that you may be removing yourself from. And there's there may be an expression of love. Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, messages in your... Where I was telling you they're not moving forward. They're not wanting to put in the work. But we'll get additional clarity messages from this person. I'm allowing the universe to show me the way. If it's meant to be, it will be. So they're saying I'm letting go. I'm taking my hands off the wheel. If it's meant to be, it will be. But I'm not doing anything right now. Sort of going with the flow. <laughs> what I was seeing at the bottom deck was I'm not going to be the one to make the first move. So I wasn't, I was telling you, I don't see stubbornness in your energy, but I do see it in this person's energy, right? Emperor, King of Wands in reverse, King of Pentacles, Taurus, the Bull, strength, big ego here as well, right? If Libra wants to communicate, Libra can talk to me. I'm not going to do anything. We have, I'm removing toxic relationships out of my life to be with you. I'm not sure. Some of you, it definitely can be that this person is coming out of another commitment or they're wanting to, but still, it's not the most promising outcome. And this can be, it's a general reading. It can be you. You're removing yourself from any toxic situations, devil, right? And your intuition's been guiding you. Some of you, we also have, I'm ending my current relationship to be with you. The issue here is even if they say they are, um, it is a just some of you, yeah, your person can be honest. Um, they haven't done anything to make you doubt their intentions. But in this case, what I'm picking up on is fool three of wands. I don't see plans being against the norm. I want us to be together, even if it means breaking a few social rules. I'm going to sneak back into your life and pretend nothing ever happened. I know I'm a coward. What can I say? I'm a player and I want to continue to play the field. Yeah, that this is the energy I'm picking up on in this spread. I might say cruel things to test you. I lash out because I feel hurt. I think there <laughs> wasn't I saying you not participating in the games, you leaving the playground. You're feeling more empowered. I'm going to continue to play mind games. I can't make you think you have me completely. This person was messing with your head. Nine of swords. You never knew what to expect from them. They were giving you mixed signals. It was too much. This person was doing too much. It seems that they are getting their karma because they're feeling restricted or wanting to start your own business, entrepreneur spirit. They're saying if you are wanting to and you're hesitating, um, get more information, right? Sort of getting the details with the sixth house of Virgo. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Networking will be very beneficial. We have believe and trust. Always playing it safe can mean denying yourself the chance to find true happiness. Take, take a leap of faith and step outside of your comfort zone. So that is your advice. Take that risk, especially in regards to that business venture. It will be successful. But you'll have to believe in yourself and take that risk leap of faith. Uh, I'm not taking those. What advice do you have for organization and career? I was telling you, there's this seemed to be very career focused what I was getting. Organization, increase your pod activity by sorting out any chaos and confusion around you. Declutter your personal space. 
You're feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, is what I was feeling. It's like a breath of fresh air is what I'm getting from your energy. Yeah, get out of bed. If you have been, you know, you've been locked, locking yourself in the room, hiding away in hermit mode for too long, I think you'll be coming out of that rut. You have some haters here coming through as well. Queen of Wands is normally, yeah, she can have haters. She or he doesn't matter. It's energy we're looking at. So yeah, there may be some people that try to belittle you, your dreams. Don't pay attention. They're just jealous of you and your power because they see what you're becoming. Right? And that is intimidating. And it can be close family, friends. For some of you, listen to your intuition, right? Your advice was high priestess. Using sleep as an escape from reality is only a temporary fix. You're a fighter. Look at everything you've overcome. Don't give up now. Yeah, don't give up now. Believe and trust. I also want to get one oracle card from this deck because I haven't used it and it's been sitting around forever. So why not, right? But this won't be in regards to your love life. I mean, it can be. I just want to get one card for the overall sort of theme for the month for Libras. What is the overall? This is how I started off your reading. You're going through, yeah, transformation, changes. Change is never easy, but it will be worth it. I was feeling this, that bittersweet energy when I, when I was mentioning the Nine of Cups, right? Some of you it is. There's something you really wanted and it's not coming through, but there's something better waiting for you. Let's read this. Okay, this card may be an indication that you are struggling with tough times or perhaps you are coming out the other side. For you, you're coming out the other side, for a lot of you. Maybe both. Either way, stay strong and smile when you can, even if it is through your tears. If this card doesn't represent you, perhaps it is a reminder that even those who present a happy face to the world may be hiding tears underneath. Be kind and give people the benefit of the doubt. You never know what they are dealing with behind closed doors. Uh, your guides are wanting to reassure, reassure you that whatever you're going through, right, that one way or the other, it is going to work out okay. Perhaps not the way you want it to, but okay. What you don't see coming is Nine of Cups, right? What you may be seeing is the star in reverse. What I wanted, what I hoped for, I don't think I'll ever get it. That's what the mentality is, which is why we have tears of joy and sadness get out of bed. But what you don't see coming is the Nine of Cups. For one, you're coming out of this stronger than ever. I think a lot of you, this is what you were dealing with in the past. Some of you, it can be as extreme as depression, right? Because get out of bed and we have the tears. But I don't see that. Your energies, I'm curious. What is Libra's? I want another deck actually for you. Because I, I have a feeling that this was something that you dealt with in the past. Right? Because we have the Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords in reverse, which tells me you're overcoming, you're healing. <laughs> yeah, I don't see you struggling. You have Queen of Wands here twice. You have options. You know, you know your worth, you know what you deserve here. Some of you may be putting yourself out there getting to know new people. But something you do need to look out for is fairness, balance, equality, right? As much as you are investing, giving to a situation is the person reciprocating. So that is something to look out for. And you deserve the best. Libra, you are the best. Queen of Wands, you're very sexy. You're extremely charismatic. A lot of people are wanting a piece of you. Do you see how the cat is looking up to the Queen of Wands? Yeah, people are naturally gravitated to you, your energy. It's almost a glow up here. And I also see financial success here. I saw that throughout your reading. So if there is some um, project you've been working on, it's saying keep pushing forward, right? Don't give up now. Progress may be slow. Sometimes pentacles can be a slow moving energy, but you will see the fruits of your labor here. But also in terms of your love life, it's a fresh slate here. Ace of pentacles, <laughs> 10 of cups, yeah. 
don't worry. Whatever challenges you've been through, it'll be worth it in the end. And a lot of you, I'm seeing you manifest twin flame, soulmate. Those are labels, but a very strong uh, connection here. Someone that you can build family with. It's wish fulfillment. It's happily ever after. So don't give up on love if that is the case, right? If you've been through a difficult experience, not every person that you meet here moving forward will be your past, right? Gift, yes. <laughs> your love life is... Wasn't I saying trust your intuition? We have trust the feeling and special event. Some of you may be attending some sort of event and that is how you meet your new person if that is what you're um, seeking here. Fate will play a role in your love life. Pay attention to the people who come into your life unexpectedly. Stay curious and keep exploring. Yeah, don't limit yourself in any way. You may be surprised by someone's act of kindness. Be open to small gestures or any proposals that come your way. Embrace the gift. Pentacle coming your way. Do you see that? Similar imagery here. They're holding it up. So you have a new beginning. You have some of you. This can be the tangible, right? Something you can feel, you can touch. So yeah, it literally may be a gift, a proposal, something that you can build upon, right? It's not just talk. You'll see actions to back up whatever this situation will be presented to you. I, a lot of you, it is love. We do have the lovers, right? But I do see options here for you. And one of them will really stand out and they have something solid to offer you. Yes, Libra, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next week. Bye.